Miguel Álvarez Carrillo de Albornoz was a Spanish cardinal and ecclesiastical leader. Biography Early years Albornoz was born at Carrasco del Campo, early in the 14th century. He was the son of Gil Álvarez de Albornoz and of Doña Teresa de Luna, sister of Jimena de Luna, Archbishop of Toledo and a member of the prominent Carrillo family. He was educated at Tharagotha, while his uncle was bishop of that see, and studied law at Toulouse. The powerful influence of his family opened him a public career early in life. He was made archdeacon of Calatrava and became a member of the king's council while young. In 1338 he was chosen archbishop of Toledo in succession to his uncle by the favour of the king, Alfonso XI of Castile. At the Battle of Rio Salado he successfully fought against a marinid invasion from Morocco in 1340 and at the taking of Algeciras in 1344 he led the armed levy of his archbishopric. As Archbishop of Toledo, he held two reform synods, one at Toledo in May 1339, and the other at Alcala in April 1347. In 1343 he had been sent to Pope Clement VI at Avignon to negotiate a grant of a tax on the revenues of the Church for the Crusade. Albornoz left Spain on the death of the King Alfonso XI in March 1350, and never returned. It has been said, but not on contemporary evidence, that he fled from fear of Pedro of Castile. His military and diplomatic ability became known to the Pope, who made him a cardinal priest of S. Clemente in December of that year, at which point he resigned the Archbishopric of Toledo. He was appointed Grand Penitentiary shortly after election of Pope Innocent VI in December 1352 and given the epithet Angel of Peace a title which quickly became an ironic misnomer given his future campaigns in the Papal States. First campaign in Italy in 1353 Innocent VI sent him as a legate into Italy, with a view to the restoration of the Papal authority in the States of the Church, at the head of a small mercenary army. After receiving the support of the Archbishop of Milan, Giovanni Visconti, and of those of Pisa, Florence and Siena, he started a campaign against Giovanni da Vico, Lord of Viterbo, who had usurped much of the papal territories in the Latium and Umbria. Giovanni was defeated in the Battle of Viterbo of 10 March 1354 and signed a treaty of submission. Albornoz then moved to the Martian Romagna against the Malatesta of Rimini and the Ordolafi of Philae. The papal commander Rodolfo Tudar Verano, Lord of Camerino, defeated Galeotto Malatesta, forcing his family to become a loyal ally of the Pope. This was followed by the submission of the Montefeltro of Urbino and the Darpolenta of Ravenna, and of the cities of Senegalia and Ancona. Towards the end of 1356 Albornoz was appointed as Bishop of Sabina. Only Giovanni Manfredi of Fenza and Francesco II Ordolafi of Philae were at that point resisting the papal reconquest. Albornoz had managed to submit only the former when he was being recalled in 1357, being replaced by Andro and de la Roche, abbot of Cluny. Before leaving, in a meeting with all the papal vicars held on 29 April 1357, Albornoz issued the Constitutiona Sancti Matris Ecclesia, which regulated all the matters of the papal states and its division into provinces. They remained effective until 1816. Second campaign in Italy The Cardinal was honoured as Pater Ecclesia at his arrival in Avignon. His sojourn there was to be short, however, as Giovanni di Vico and Francesco Ordolafi were menacing the fragile balance of his last conquests. Return to Italy, Albornoz found an agreement with Landau, forcing Ordelafi to surrender on 4 July 1359. Albornoz missed only Bologna to complete his rebuilding of the Papal States. When that city was attacked by Bernabo Visconti of Milan, its ruler, Giovanni d'Oleggio, decided to hand it over to Albornoz. In the meantime, Innocent died. 
the Spanish cardinal refused the tiara, and Urban V was elected. Under him Albornoz started the military campaign against Visconti and, when all attacks failed, Urban proclaimed a crusade against him. As Urban's greatest desire was that of a crusade against the Turks, the two parts signed a hasty peace, which was highly favorable to Visconti. The relentless work of Albornoz ushered in a decade of warfare and atrocity, culminating in the massacre of Cessna, a town faithful to the papal cause whose entire population was executed by the papal forces while paving the way of Urban V to Rome. As legate, Albornoz showed himself to be an astute manager of men and effective fighter. He began by making use of Cola di Rienzo, whose release from prison at Avignon he secured. After the murder of the Tribune in 1354 Albornoz pursued his task of restoring the Pope's authority by intrigue and force with remarkable success. However, the ten years of bloody warfare conducted by Albornoz accomplished very little to secure the pacification of Italy for now four mercenary companies, roved through Italy spreading further bloodshed and strife. The Papal State was itself far from completely pacified, a savage and devastating war went on from 1361 to 1367 between Rome and Velletri while in 1366-7 there was a general rebellion in Campania. Despite all and as a mark of gratitude the Pope appointed him legate at Bologna in 1367, but he died at Viterbo the same year. According to his own desire his remains were carried to Toledo, where Henry of Castile had them to be entombed with almost royal honours. The College of St. Clement at Bologna was founded by Albornoz for the benefit Castilian, Aragonese and Portuguese students in 1364.